Let's see what this place is. Raven's not. I, I like the decor. Me too. Uh, stereotypical white girl. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Oh my god, so much pumpkin spice. <laughs> I'm gonna snort the stuff. <laughs> oh, hi. You might have heard some rumors about me. It's not true. Not all of it. I mean, sure, before all this happened, I was, um... I was an active young oh, woman. Oh, doctor! You know, I like to play. Ooh. But that doesn't give anybody oh, the right to badmouth me. Oh. <sighs> small towns are all the same. Filled with small-minded and petty people. I agree. So, if a married man breaks his vows, I'm to blame, right? Yeah, stands to reason he was bewitched and seduced through no fault of his own. Drum up the auto de fe, burn the witch at the stake! Yeah, that's not fair at all. I find it amusing when they talk about me behind my back. More often than not, my most vocal detractors have been among my most frequent visitors. Jealousy and guilt are two very powerful incentives to exaggerating someone's promiscuity. I sense, I sense an alien presence. The fog obscures a terrible truth concealed behind a veil of, sorry, old habits. Hey, just so you know, I don't do readings anymore. I've been outside. You don't need second sight to foretell our future. We're all doomed. It's not like I'm gonna need the money. It's strange, but it's the dreams that really get to me, not reality. I can handle reality, but those nightmares just... It's like a really annoying song that gets stuck in your head repeating over and over and over again. The dreams are always about ravens. Thousands of ravens. Flapping wings. Black feathers. Dead eyes. Beaks and talons tearing and clawing and screeching. Wings of death and pestilence. A black, timeless malice covering Kingsmouth like a funeral shroud. You get the idea. I don't know what any of it means, but it's doing a number on my beauty sleep, I can tell you that. Yeah, you look fine. You look great. I mean, she puts on a good show. I, I think she's legit. I mean, we certainly seen some a lot of freaking ravens around here lately. I mean, I remember when I walked by that one thing and the. You mean the spooky circle of ghost ravens? No, no, no. Other than that. You mean the dude made of ravens? That one. Yeah. Okay. That one was pretty weird. So you know, I think she's having nightmares about ravens. She might be onto something. I mean, it could be, but you, this is just a standard psyche trick. You know, you say, oh, I dreamed of this thing happening a long time ago. Hey, um, what's that? That's a raven. Are you following the raven? Uh, now I'm following the ravens. <sighs> okay, we're doing this now. Alright. Okay, yeah, I admit, that's weird. I mean, a lot of things are weird. It doesn't mean that everything is weird. How about this? That is pretty weird. Oh, shit! Yep! I was not even surprised. Johnny Raven Pants. That's his name now. It's Revenant. Did you, did you look those up? I did. In the monster manual. I don't think... You know, there's a lot of good stuff in here.
Okay, this thing is... That, it was on fire. Annoying. I was going to say on fire, but yeah, annoying. Alright. Let's see, where is it hiding now? I need to find some way to pin this thing down. You could, you could drop some bird seed. I don't think that would work. What if you paint a tunnel on a cliff face? Hmm. This isn't no. This is this isn't a red runner. This is a raven. They both begin with. They both begin with R. They're both annoying. Okay, so one for Sar, two for Joy, three for Girl, and four for a Boy. Five for Silver, six for Gold, seven for Sacred, never to be told. What is eight? Um, that's a good question. I look up Counting Crows song and... No, that's just the band. That one weird song about ravens. Didn't you have to kill that one? I'm asking myself that. It's not this. It keeps getting away. Okay, nine. We're up to nine now. Okay. Um. Eight for a wish. Nine for a kiss. Ten for a bird you must not miss. And I guess this is ten. We got a bird, I must not. Well, this is definitely more than 10 now. Huh. What did this guy was doing here? He's got a. Is he trying to bind them? Yeah, okay. Bind the malevolent spirit by placing the reagents at the points of the star. Who was this guy? And. Can you translate Norse runes? I could try. Best take a picture of it. Because I can't keep looking at this stupid thing. Yes, I have a miraculous device that can take shots of screens. Okay, so... West Point? No. North Point? I don't know if I can actually translate these. This looks to be the same, like, four or five letters repeated. Northeast, no. East Point? Southeast Point, no. South Point, yes. And there we go. Good job. Alright, I got you, man. Bastard. Well, that was easy. Yeah, feathery asshole. Caw, caw, motherfucker. That was almost disappointing. Well, I mean, you are, like, super badass. Well, thank you. It's not terror as usual out there. Revenants are a bad sign. Literally. They smell death before it comes. Usually, they're hanging out in hospitals from Florida. But if mass tragedy is on the horizon, they're quick to make a pilgrimage. If they're all still in Kingsmith, it means there's more misery left, hopefully. The worst isn't yet to come. Fingers crossed, KG. That almost sounded sympathetic. It's the best she can do. Is uh, Raven following me now? Oh, you made a friend. Apparently I have. So is a white raven like a black swan? Uh, kind of, yes. Speaking of, you know... Actually, nothing we were just speaking of. What the fuck? Ooh, let's see if they have any ice cream... Sandwiches. Oh dear, that's that's that is a novelty ice cream in very poor taste. Eric and Mendy, Bound by Love, 1874. 
Oh my god. And there's a shovel here? And... Oh my god! That's... that is a lot of dead parts. What was Mr. Freezy doing? We are going to have to call the, like, so many health departments after this. <sighs> you know, there's a part of me that wonders if maybe some of the ice cream is still good. I mean, if that, if that orange juice was still frozen, the ice cream has got to be. No, 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 I'm not going to do it. Um, is that a zombie ice cream man? That, I believe, is a zombie ice cream man. Yes, asking him what happens out of the question. Whoa! He just used ice powers. I guess... Whoa. Maybe... I mean, I would guess that, like, maybe becoming a zombie gives you magic based on what you're, you were like in life, but I... That just makes so little sense, I can't even think about it. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, still not the weirdest thing we've seen. No, it isn't. You know, let me let me take this into the court, into the churchyard. Maybe it came from here? Did, was was Mr. Freezy robbing graves? I mean, I don't know where else you go to get, like, huh, you know, corpses from the Victorian era. The question is, why would he want bodies that old? Maybe for the valuables. I guess, but I mean, why, why take the body parts? Well, I mean, maybe it just didn't come off as easily. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Also, seems they seem to be buried a lot more shallow here than they should be because, you know, other places they ha the drog had to dig them up. Here they seem to have just done it on their own. I don't even see that many holes. How did they even get out? Maybe they cleaned up after themselves. But um, look at that—he's just popping straight out. Makes you wonder why the draw you need to dig them up. It's like one of those Play-Doh pasta factories, but for corpses. Eric and Mindy bound by death, 1875. Oh, just a year later. Souvenir. Mr. Freezy. Well, I guess that that's, you know, as if there's any doubt. Mr. Freezy was digging out bodies. Looks like the bodies start to dig in. <sighs> Wait, did he crash his ice cream truck? after becoming a zombie? No, I don't think so. Was he was he the was he the driving dead? Well, I mean like everybody was called out to sea. Maybe that's when he wrecked the the truck. But why would he leave his hat at the grave he was robbing? That's like grave robbing 101. Don't leave you know, evidence. This raises some questions. I think it does, yes. Look at the churchyard there. Chewed up like Susie's clam chowder. I've been keeping a head count. Blessings to re-administer, plots to be re-turfed, other unfortunate logistical problems. Certain discrepancies with the deceased. I mean, out here where there's more ground than people, internment is a God-given right. But in some cases, without a town as mostly, the students from the academy... Uh, what? You can't show it off there. 
Well, I believe it's for science. For the advancement of mankind, yes, an enlightened pursuit. A noble tradition. And boys will be boys. Um... Suspicious. Suspicion level is going up, yes. So what about this graveyard? So many questions about the graveyard. Blessed are the meek, but doubly blessed are those who do the Lord's work boldly. It is through his grace that we find sanctuary in his house, when his house is besieged by, um, by zombies. Not to belittle the Lord's work, but perhaps the Illuminated Ones made this place a safe place through some conjuration of theirs. Blessed by the Lord, of course, or at the very least, tolerated. Whatever yeah. the providence of our sanctuary, it extends no further than the doorstep. Even the cemetery spills over with the devil's spawn. I've tried prayer, I've tried my 44, but Satan's wearing Kevlar, and Bible-thumping uh, just pisses them off. You have got some very mixed metaphors, along with your general shadiness. I will give Padre Pedostash this, and nothing else. Satan's wearing Kevlar was an awesome line. So, this place is uh, protected, huh? Yeah, although, I mean... <laughs> you think Scott did this? <laughs> yeah... Oh. oh, honey. <sighs> this, so... I'm, yeah, I'm guessing most of what you do doesn't have a lot to do with God. Well, it's a... It's a valuable tool. You know, we all intersect with religion in some interesting ways. Oh, that was good. You got some serious air with it. Yeah. So what's with these wards here? Well, the Illuminati finds it valuable to maintain certain strongholds. Although I guess if these things were here, then maybe, maybe he didn't do the the stained glass windows. Maybe he's related to Bill Dexter. Could be. You know, around here you get a, you get a lot of. Uh, long upstanding fat vision. By upstanding, you mean red. A little bit, yeah. Let's just say less of a family tree, more of a turn. Robert Dexter is survived by his sons Tom and William. Ah! We're piecing together the whole Dexter family tree. Back and look at this. Oh, Tom died young. You know, you could really learn a lot from those old lords. I mean. They'd probably keep the zombies out if you could, like, copy them. Maybe increase their protection. Um... I mean, think about it. Imagine if, like, you could protect this whole area from zombies. Maybe you could protect the, the sheriff's station. Completing one person's magic is one thing. Uh, doing it, doing new magic myself, that's something else. I, I, I don't know... I don't really want to mess with forces beyond my comprehension. You're, you're fighting zombies and the filth and undead vikings controlled by Brainiac ship and a space butt plug? And I can cause volcanic eruptions by hitting the ground really hard. I mean, you've already done voodoo. <sighs> yeah, and how did that work out for me? Okay, fair enough. But we already know this works. 
Okay, fine. I'll try drawing it. All right. If this goes badly, it's your fault. Your fault. Okay. Yeah, that was that was my fault. Look, you can't learn magic without killing a few undead butlers. Right, well, look, you're doing new magic. The dead are going to get a little restless. But once you fix it all up. No, it'd be nice. You have like a protected zone. All right. I guess we can help. If we can help those people with the, they help people. You know, and I'll give it a shot. Okay. Well, nothing bad happened that time. That's good. Yeah, see, see. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Good. You're getting it. Yeah, yeah, this isn't so bad. And boom. Yeah. That, well, that actually Shiny worked. Blue, oh. Okay. What? Well, how did that happen? Because that's what happens. How does every magic trick we do create the Incredible Hulk? I don't know. Maybe it just that's just all I'm good at. Well, maybe you could learn how to create the Incredible Hulk. Offensively. The church is an ancient Illuminati safe ha haven. Don't be fooled by the architecture. It could just as easy have been a gas station or a Denny's. The warts are a tribute to an older generation of our magi. All shady and all very good at what they did. Your attempts to replicate the symbols were serviceable. But advanced anima mastery requires extensive talent and practice. Frankly, you're not there yet. Hopefully, it inspires you to dig deeper into our roots in Kingsmith. The traces are all around you. <sighs> so far, it's going great for me. Well, I mean, it isn't exactly ideal circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> 